This is Camp Kennedy. Oh, what's going on everybody? As you can see here, there I am. As you guys can see, I uh, got the diamond pythons out and I have had to do some work to their enclosure because, oh, well, we're always trying to improve things here and actually you gotta pay attention to your animals. And so uh, we got Ozzy right here, no worries. Uh, Ethel is right here. And the thing with Ethel, oh, that's Ozzy. Wait a minute, where's Ethel? Ethel's right here. I can't, I can't tell who's who, they're all kind of tied up on me but uh anyhow ethel has a case of scale rot and it's because she or rather this enclosure was way too wet uh i didn't even realize it i thought it would drain out because of the floor but as you can see water collects in the back there so by hand i had to completely scoop this out you know what i mean like oh man and let's see she is actually tightening up on me that's no bueno. See, she's tightening up. Not bad, I can handle it, but she's just trying to get a good grip, and this is why you really shouldn't be putting large uh, constrictors around your neck. Now she's not so big, so I'm just gonna let her do a thing, but she's definitely tightening up. See that guy? Oh, oh, that's a tight ass tie. Where's that little tail? There's a little head, we'll pull her right off. Oh, that's actually, that's the boy, that's Ozzy. Where is Ethel? Oh, she's right here. Okay, anyway, I'm mumbling to myself, but here's what's going on, everyone. So I had to get in here and I had to, by hand, start taking out all of the soil. Now, the cool thing about this is that I found a surprise while I did it. Like, so look at this soil, guys. Look at how beautiful that looks. That is some dark, rich, fertile soil, but it's a little bit too much for our uh, slithery friends. Diamond pythons don't want to be living on such a, such a moist uh, situation. But I'll bet you guys can tell what made that soil so good. And let's go look. So as I was actually digging, I started noticing these big, fat, awesome, juicy earthworms. So I decided, well, instead of using my shovel, I'm gonna go ahead and do this by hand so I can get all these amazing earthworms out. These guys are amazing. Look at how many earthworms I got. Look at this, guys. Is this the score? Only reptile people will appreciate this. Look at all these beautiful earthworms. How amazing is that? Lots of earthworms. So my turtles are gonna be extremely, extremely happy because they're gonna be eating some really nice, fresh earthworms. But, uh, you know, it took a while. So I had to do all this by hand. I would go through the soil, sift through it, get the earthworms out, put them in this bucket, then I would put the soil in there and then chuck it into this. Hi, sweetheart. Maybe you could do me a favor. Yeah. I'm having a situation here. Oh my God, your face is turning purple. Is it, is it purple? I really wanted you to try this Oh, cookie she wanted to try a cookie. Well, she's saving me. So I'm trying to oh. do my video. Jeez, oh. yeah, and you're I'm choking. I know I'm talking. The no, show. no, you're like choking, not well, I'm, talking. I'm not totally choking, but it isn't comfortable. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Let's see, which one is it? That's the thing. I think they're both oh, kind of, this is there quite a situation. Go. Oh, Jesus. That feels a whole hell of a lot better. Ooh. Ooh, thank goodness for wives. Oh, okay. okay, so what All I wanted right. to show people, you want me to try a cookie? I Should did. I try your cookie? Put it's it. It's delicious. Let me try oh the cookie. Oh my God, there's snakes. <laughs> oh, is this chocolate chip? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, do you want me to help? Like, do you want to take a bite and then I'll hold it? Mm. Oh. oh, I'm okay. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to die. Um, anyhow, guys. Just so you know, we're doing this video day before Thanksgiving. You're watching it on Sunday. I'm dirty and I didn't want to touch this cookie. My wife makes good cookie. Are these gluten free, hun? Yeah, wow. and I think they're my best batch yet. Wow. It's amazing how we're talking about diamond pythons. I almost choked because I was turning purple trying to do this. I look up and luckily there you are. But in the middle of the, middle of the video, I get a bonus by getting a cookie. Something just told me to come out here and give you that cookie. I love you. Thank oh, God I did. That was scary. That's why I married you. All right. Scary situation. Okay, I have to go do my cookies now. Do you want to? You're going to leave me here alone to finish this video? People love you. All right. Well, I have like four minutes until okay. I have to get it out of the oven. Now I've got cookie mouth. Okay, so anyway, guys, I did all this by hand. It took about an hour and a half to sift through it all. I got most of the earthworms out. I'm sure there are a few left in here. I'm going to dump this and then come on over here. I gotta fill that up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm 
I'm gonna use this gravel here. Oh, Jesus. It's okay. I'm gonna use this gravel, and I'm gonna take the gravel, I'm gonna probably fill it up inside that cage right here, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a layer of gravel, I'm gonna drill two drain holes, which I'll show you guys, don't worry. I just wanted to kind of give you the scoop on what's going on. I'm gonna drill a drain hole so the water can seep out better, spray this down more, and then basically uh, we'll have a pad of gravel, and then I'm just gonna take leaves and pine needles and put them on top of the gravel so the snakes aren't crawling on the gravel, but this will drain a whole lot better and it'll get drier. Uh, that was the problem. That soil was so rich from the earthworms that it in fact created kind of a watertight seal between the, the, the planks that I have here on the decking. So that's what I got to do. But before I let my beautiful wife go, because she's super busy, I wanted to show everyone what scale rot looks like. And I'm just gonna, would you hold this for a second? No. I'm only kidding, I know she's, I'm just kidding. I will, I guess I'll put him right here for a moment. Can you climb up there for me, my friend? Can you make it up there? This, this video has turned into quite the production. No, don't I don't do know about all that. No, why don't I just do this? Come on over there and go go to your branch. Or just, I... oh, for crying out. You just stay there and I'll get you in a minute. Whew. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys what um. scale rot looks like. So you can see right here, um, she just has some rough scales. So what I did was I gave her a little betadine and I've moved her inside. And basically, uh, it is a little bit of a bacterial infection. Does it hurt her? Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some kind of pain. Yeah, absolutely. So what you want to do? And I talked to my good buddy Eric Erb, and what he told me to do is prepare a betadine solution, uh, apply it to the snake's belly. I've put her inside the snake room. It's warm in there. Uh, it also has. Uh, I use construction paper as the. Um, as the substrate. So I went ahead and I did that and you can see right here her heart's beating. See your heart? See that guys? A little snake heart beating right there for you. I don't know if you can see. Can you see it, hon? Um, I'm trying to get... There it is. Yeah, can I can see it. it. That's so cool. Anyway, so um, basically I'm just gonna keep her inside. Uh, she's gonna shed a couple times and this should clear up, no worries. Um, but it's important that when you keep animals, you pay attention to them. And I noticed something was wrong. I was like, that's not how she normally sheds. And I thought it was uh, just a bad shed, but in fact, it was a little bit of scale rot. And this is a very old snake. She's uh, 20 years old. So I wanna make sure that I'm taking good care of her in her elderly years. So I'll tell you what, guys, I'm gonna put the snakes back. I'm gonna get back to work. And when the video starts up again, I'll show you what the finished product looks like, okay? And I'll show you a couple more of the steps as I'm putting the, the uh, gravel in and so on and so forth. And I uh, just want to send a shout out one more time. Do I have any chocolate in my teeth too? Uh, no, uh, they're all good. Mm. But I was, I was almost passed out. I know. <laughs> I wasn't I really passed you. out, but, but anyway, she Your was, face was really red. My face was red. It was like a slow, steady choke. So okay. there you know, all luckily. Right. Wrap um, it up. I got to get the cookies. All right, go get the cookies. Okay, I love bye. I love See you guys. There goes my beautiful wife. Look, there she goes, going to get the cookies. Uh, anyway, we're going to um, we're gonna finish up here, put the snakes away. I'll come right back and show you some more about how I'm doing it. Uh, okay, cool. Talk to you in a bit. All right, so I, uh, I dumped out the soil all around my bamboo plants. And uh, I'm gonna just load this up. That's it. So we're gonna get some of this gravel that was pretty much a little weird. And I'm gonna go ahead and just load it. I take one wheelbarrow off, we'll fill it up nicely. And uh, yeah, man. So uh, I guess maybe Tom will just speed this up. But one bureau, one wheelbarrow uh, should do the trick. Uh, and here we go. This is actually drain field rock, so it's made for this purpose. Uh, I'm actually putting in a new drain field, so I had some left over, and uh, it's gonna be just enough to get the job done. Let's get some more. 
All right, so I grabbed a few more rocks from here, from this pile, and uh, now we're gonna go on a little trip. Not a far trip, but we are going on a trip nonetheless, and I need both hands. So uh, I'm gonna put you guys on the wheelbarrow for the ride. That's where you guys are going, yeah! Oh, we gotta back up here. And we just gotta go right here, not too far at all. And I'm gonna show you what I got going on. Whew, it's kinda heavy. Okay, oh, hey, oh, sorry guys. You guys all right? Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so I sprayed out the inside, got all the dirt out of the crevices here uh, between the uh, planks on the decking. And uh, now I'm just gonna add a nice layer of the drain field rock. And um, this will let all the water just pour right out so it won't collect, won't stay wet, it'll dry out quick because we are, you know, they do like a bit of a canopy. These guys don't bask um, heavily, um, you know, or live in wide open areas. So they'll, they'll bask through the, uh, through the dabbling of sunlight. All right, but I wanna make sure it's dry in here for them so that when I do get her out of her little sick bay, she doesn't have a reoccurrence of this problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start throwing this stuff in and I'll catch up with you guys in a second because do you really need to see me do it? I don't think so. And edit. All right, so I uh, went and I put all the gravel in. We got their water bowl in. We got their cave set up, put some rocks, put a branch back in so they can climb up to the top area here. And uh, now all that's left is for me to put Ozzy back inside his enclosure. So let's go ahead and put Ozzy back in. He wants to go up, but we want him to go down. Go Oz, come back in here, bud. There you go. So there it is, new diamond python substrate. Um, you know, it's really cool that he, look, he's gonna go right to the cave, I think. How cool is that? He's gonna retire for the evening. So once again, guys, when you notice something's wrong with your animals, you gotta act quick. Uh, because that could mean the difference between life and death for the animals. Um, you know, we did have some shell rot on uh, good old Ethel. She's an old gal, but I got her inside the snake room and she is uh, being kept very warm and dry and I'm applying betadine and we're you know, seeing some improvement on her. So I'm very excited about that. In the meantime, let's just watch this guy as he disappears into his cave. Very, very cool. Now I know that they'll be able to dry out, stay dry, and I shouldn't have any more issues with shell rot, excuse me, scale rot uh, in the future. So it's pretty cool, man. It's good when you uh, get things accomplished, but you know what? You're gonna have to use some elbow grease for some of these enclosures, because as you know, mine are kind of large and uh, they're outdoors and that's how I like to do things at the camp. Uh, and uh, well, we just like to treat the animals the best we possibly can. So uh, let's just see if he'll slither on and go. Get your tail in, get everything in little buddy. So there goes Ozzy back in the enclosure and uh, it should be a happy ending as he ends too. Pretty neat, uh, very cool. What do you say uh, we get back to those earthworms though? Why don't I finish things up by feeding some Chinese box turtles some earthworms as he slithers right on in to his overnight cave. Very cool. Let's go see if we can get some Chinese box turtles super stoked on some of those earthworms that I dug up. All right, let's go do it. Okay, so you might think that I set this up, but I actually just wandered in here and here is a Chinese boxy just waiting for an earthworm. And what a fun thing, you know, it's awesome that I was able to get this many uh, worms out because these guys are gonna really enjoy them. And it's always fun when you do work because sometimes you actually get a bonus. You not only get things ready for the snakes, but you're also gonna make life a little bit more exciting for our uh, shelled friends. So it's really cool. To be able to do that, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of worms out there and let that little gal see them while I finish up this video. She's looking a little shy. But anyhow guys, really great video, uh, or rather day, because we got the animals all straightened out. Uh, Ethel's gonna stay inside that little sick bay for a little bit, and then she'll get herself all figured out. We'll get her all nice and uh, uh, fixed up. She'll shed a couple times, and that shell rot, or rather scale rot, will be gone. You can tell I got turtles on the brain. Uh, anyhow, guys, really fun little project to do this afternoon. Glad I could share it with you. But we learned a lot. We learned we got to take care of our animals immediately if something's wrong with them. And we have to change their living environment and adjust, especially when you're keeping the animals outdoor. They're going to tell you everything they need. And then we also learned not to put diamond pythons around your neck and try and film a video. Because if your wife doesn't come flying out, 
uh, you may pass out, and that would be no good. Uh, also, we uh, got things situated, we had a nice cookie, and I think it's time for me to go see if Kate has finished more of those cookies while we let this gal finish her earthworm dinner. All right, everyone, thanks so much for being a part of Camp Kennan. Please like and subscribe, and if you guys wouldn't mind, go on over to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan and become a Patreon supporter. We could use the help to keep these videos flowing. And keep, hey, where'd the turtle go? Oh, there it is. It's down here. And uh, yeah, man, go on to patreon.com slash Camp Cannon. And uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, go on over to Instagram also. We're trying to really get up to 100,000 followers on Instagram. We're almost to 50,000. Can you guys help me get to 100? I don't know. But go on over there and help me out. And I promise I'll put a shirt on for the next video. All right, everyone. We'll see you guys later. Thanks so much. And uh, be good to your animals. So long.